don't do that. <laughs> what did you say last episode? Probably 19. Th- yeah, no, I think last episode was 18 and we said 17. Or maybe Whatever. it was uh, 19 uh, and, and this is 20. Sure. Not really sure. It, uh, who who can keep track? Yeah. Uh, that's for our fans. That's <laughs> you know, exactly our right. great fans. It's not our responsibility. No, which, which, yeah. which uh, I, I announced to Bill. Um, Zach, we... Uh, the, this is quite an accomplishment, I think, because so YouTube. Wouldn't you think you'd like if 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 it were you and I recommend a podcast to you? Wouldn't you want to watch more on YouTube than on podcast or? No, I listen no, to, uh, all to my, podcasts yeah. more. Okay, because because I don't know. Every time I looked up a podcast, I looked it up on YouTube, and we have we have hit like five hundred views or, oh, or, or downloads it. on uh, uh, Podbean. Oh really? Yeah, dude, we're moving that's on actually, up. That's actually decent. Hell yeah! So and we and we ha- I mean we've had like a growing like foreign <laughs> base yeah, for some reason. <laughs> you know? So if anybody is listening, I'm not even joking. If you hear this, message the page, whatever the hell, and we'll get you a free hear nothing, see nothing patch, right? Oh sure. Yeah. Well, you feel we'll, we'll, like making a patch and mailing it to fucking Australia? I, yeah, I don't give a fuck, man. Like, right. Yeah. With the NSA knocking at your door. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Why are you shipping all these things out to Ireland? Man. I'm going to mail them some of those vacuum sealed pills <laughs> yeah. from a stranger. This is CBD. <laughs> all right. So now you have. All right. Can I do a proper welcome? Yes. Yeah. Proper intro. All right. Uh, thank you, everyone out there in Radio Land, Internet Land, wherever you may be. Welcome to episode 19. Yes. I believe it's 19. 19. Episode 19 of the critically acclaimed award winning. Let's just say the first episode of 2019, right? Is it really? Yeah. All right. Happy New Year. Uh, it's uh, it's Hear Nothing, See Nothing, Say Nothing. I am, as always, your faithful friend and companion and somewhat host. It actually may not be, but I just don't give a damn about Ross. <laughs> sure. Because <laughs> <laughs> <Whatever. laughs> that was the last episode. No, it's Whatever. the first episode. Yeah, yeah. This, this is the first one that matters. Don't tell Ross. Uh, yeah. I am Bill Big Billy B. Schmidt. To my right, as always, Phil. And to my left is longtime friend and regular on the show, Zach Sandry. Gentlemen, welcome. It's good to be here. Yeah, what were we talking here, about? Really. It is good to be here. We were talking about uh, I. Oh, your sketchy fucking pills. Yeah, I. Beca- <laughs> ever since I got panic attacks, I like looked up all these CBD companies to see like which one has coupons, which one's the cheapest, which one has the best shit. And this guy started his own company. Here called uh, I guess this is a free Are you fucking, plug it? Yeah, gonna, free yeah. plug. <laughs> N- NCCBD.com, so I'm guessing North Carolina, a community <laughs> outreach program <laughs> providing fresh, organic, high CBD hemp to those in need. And he sent me six CBD pills, small as fuck. They, they look like, since I've been watching Breaking Bad, like the ricin that he poisons people with. It's <laughs> 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 like Kratom to me. Like, yeah, like yeah. Ground up, multicolored, those clear well, pill capsules. How can you tell that it's CBD, though? <laughs> you can find how out. Can you? Did you take one yet? Well, I, I did take one. Uh, did he label it at all? No. <laughs> with he, a, yeah, with he a labeled it with, <laughs> with a Sharpie on a vacuum-sealed uh, plastic bag. <laughs> That's... Take these, Sunny. <laughs> <laughs> this is CBD. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, I am. Oh I guess God. I am. I am feeling a little bit better because I feel like I got. Did you it. take one? Yeah. Oh, nice. But I, I mean, it's like a low dose. I think because I, t- no. I told twenty-five milligrams. I think it said. Yeah. Those are decent, right? It's is high decent? quality hemp for those in need. I can't tell because the the oil that I get the dropper. It's yeah. a, it, the the norm. The average one says five hundred milligrams, and the the one that I take is fifteen hundred. Oh shit! So is that the whole bottle? That I. I would assume that that's a lot. Yeah. I would assume that. That's well, that's for the that's for like people who have epilepsy. Yeah. 15. Yeah. So I told him, I'm like, I got epilepsy. Give me all you got. And he sends me these fucking little <laughs> fucking you know shards. What? I, I really haven't tried any of the CBD stuff for for epilepsy. I really should try some of that stuff. I mean, but I, I s- kind of stopped taking it because I just felt fine. for, And then, like, I would randomly get anxiety, like, get obsessed about, like, one dumb fucking thing. And then I took it, and I'm like, I don't, I, like, feel fine. Nice. So... You want to know that if one I dumb fucking thing? If I were malt liquor, I'd ask to pop one of those pills. Oh my! It's it's good to mix. You need a balanced <laughs> diet of pills and bottles. Tatara, the the Tatara, the poor man's uh, what did I call it? The poor man's Indiana Jones. That's no, I thought that was the that's the Tatara man. Was it the? Yeah, he's right. wearing he's wearing like one of those weird rounded caps, but otherwise he's got that leather jacket and tan shirt. Oh man! Uh, yeah, you know those weird the round caps that uh, like Chevy Chase wears and um. 
Sure. When he was that European vacation where he wears the leader hosen? Is there sounds a feather? Like, it sounds like that. Yeah, would be yeah, well, yeah, yeah. So anyway, a quick another little sponsorship plug to uh, this episode's unofficial sponsor. What is Tatra? Tatra. 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 <laughs> uh, it's premium. I don't know what full, the full bodied taste malt liquor. And uh, I'm trying to really enjoy it because after this, I have two forties of old English. So, <laughs> <laughs> so is is that how shitty it is that uh, you're waiting for the old English? No, it's actually not that bad. I I like this, and I also like old English. But you know, oh. like once you I start d- drinking forties, I do not like old English. <laughs> oh, fuck you. I could do Mickey's or Steel Reserve is terrible, but I will drink it. See, my what, go-to. What what are no? What, what were you gonna say? I was gonna say you get two forties, one of like Mickey's or I like old English. Then the second 40 is Steel Reserve because by the time you finish the first 40, <laughs> you, you don't really it. mind the taste of the Steel Reserve. And, it gets <laughs> and you you'll get loaded. Yeah, oh, yeah. You, even though they're the same price. I like yeah. the logic. Yeah. Well, that's because <laughs> you want to drink Steel Reserve because it'll get you where you want to go. Yeah, because yeah. it's like, it does that. Yeah. Oh, is it it's like more like a nasty? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's, uh, do you know what percent it is? Like, it's uh, like 11, 11 or 12 yeah. percent or something, something yeah. absurd. It's, it's like insane. fucking gross. Yeah, it's like 25 proof. Beer. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, I was gonna say, Zach, <laughs> that beer you made. What would you compare it to? The beer that I did. Yeah. Uh, well, it was a. Uh, it was an English pale ale. I, uh, I don't even know what. It, uh, and I actually kind of thought it tasted like uh, Newcastle, honestly. Yeah. But I thought it was pretty good. It wasn't bad. I got a bottle of the the November Fest that is now. <laughs> February fest because <laughs> the mock it's been fest. the mock tober fest it's been uh, I, I, I like <laughs> I like that it tasted unique which I don't know if that's because it's I don't know first what I'm tri- doing yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> like an amateur beer. but but it makes it taste better than you know the shit you always taste I guess like sure yeah it was, it's interesting for sure I got a I got a bottle of that beer maybe I'll do it this weekend so. Bill, you want to come over and cook drugs and bottle beer with me yeah okay all right cool. All right, stay tuned for <laughs> updates on that. Uh, Phil, you said something had given you anxiety. Oh which, yeah, yeah, which no, yeah, uh, yeah, knocked yeah. you off the CBD wagon. Yeah, yeah, no, you know, you know, you know. I, I woke up like after a horrible fucking dream, but the first thing I saw in the morning was uh, some pussy commented on our. You know, when we were talking about those rapists, the Orwells. Uh yeah, so that some, band? Yeah, somebody went on and goes, this. The orals are as pathetic as this podcast. <laughs> Whoa. And, and, and then they quickly deleted it. You know? <laughs> so, so uh, I coming to you live, the most pathetic podcast. All right. To be fair, I think we're a little more pathetic than those guys. Yeah, right? yeah. Yeah, at least they're successful. <laughs> yeah, right? Give us some fucking credit. Yeah, like, yeah. We are pretty pathetic, and we're proud of it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> so, so wait, really? If, that was it. That's speaking, and of then the, they, they deleted. Yeah, I love that yeah, they deleted. Like yeah. they're like, oh, I shouldn't have done this. Yeah, I, <laughs> I feel bad now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so they saw big bully bees on the. That's right. Like, oh shit. Well, after after five hundred downloads, you know, right? We're we're moving on up. They know that uh, we got our heavy hitter. Uh, the skinny gay guy with the glasses. <laughs> yeah. A, re- a fan favorite. Telling lies about Varg. Yep. <laughs> so what else should we say? Yeah. Wh- what else can we tell about Varg? <laughs> hmm. Varg is great. We love Varg. <laughs> yes. Varg, Varg. Nothing like living in the woods, being closet racist. Closet? You know, you know being, cl- being <laughs> yeah, closet racist. Yeah, closet down. Being closet racist is kind of like posting a shitty comment and deleting it right away. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> I think that move is more pathetic than the Orwells. Yeah, yeah. I wonder what was going through their mind. I don't know. Like, they were probably <laughs> having a bad day too, and like, didn't have enough. Well, you know, <laughs> humanizing the, the commenter. Yeah. Well, you know, well, you know, we need to. Uh, I, I'm, I'm guessing this is coming from like, uh, it sounded like a millennial. I kind of looked at his profile. I kind of stalked him down, got all his information. <laughs> oh wait, <laughs> can you can you pop up his profile? For <laughs> yeah, yeah, can yeah. we do that? I'll no, take but a look at this. so I'm th- so I'm thinking we need you know we need more stuff that a millennial would like. More green screen, more pop ups of random other people's clips, and more us reviewing them. More industries to kill. Yeah, that's I, what, I, that's I, us, us bitching do, yeah. about people who are creative. You know, that that's 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 what we need to cater yeah. to. And yeah. we're never going to Applebee's. Yeah, yeah. Because millennials hate Applebee's. Do that's they? true. Is it that feels like something that's true? Oh, I didn't even know that. I guess uh, if you're uh, born after '82, you're a millennial. That's I mean, what they said. Like, yep. I didn't know that. I, I, I learned it from a Family Guy episode. We're like mid-level. 
yeah. millennials. Mid level. Yeah, mid level. I gotta, I gotta up my Skyrim skills. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> gotta text more. Gotta get more anxiety from yeah, Facebook. This, uh, That's the, right, yeah. The facial hair is definitely gone full, <laughs> full high level hipster right now. No. So, uh, that, 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 epi- as fuck. that episode starts out great. He's like, he's like, so, so what's a trigger warning? He's like, you asking me a trig- if this is a trigger warning is a trigger warning. Oh my God. Like, it's, it's Peter Griffin, you know? God. <clears throat> Yeah. So it's pretty. It's uh, pretty on point, though. I don't think I would understand the jokes anymore. I'm so no. out of touch. Yeah, we're s- we're warning. so deep in the millennial. Shit. Uh, I don't trigger war- triggering. You know when people get triggered. I, what like they get angry? Yeah, it's a. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I want this out there, my opinions on this. All right, let's yeah, hear it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I think no, it's all. Well, I, I think for the most part, it's all bullshit. That people we're in a are, world. Of, are we're in a world full of, of pussies. Yeah, it's like if somebody says some. So like, the whole idea of triggering is that you're essentially put in a scenario where you're made uncomfortable, and people people have like trigger free zones to where you know you're not allowed to make them uncomfortable. What? Yeah, There's that's pretty essentially much what it is, and it's bullshit. Wait, what is a trigger free zone like? Uh, like. Uh, there, I can't remember. Is it so like you go to a restaurant? It's like smoking or non. It's like it's trigger or what? non-trigger. Th- I want the trigger. That's the idea, or like like, but the it's. I think it means like just you pretty much because c- you have to deal with adversity. You can't change somebody's mind if you just walk away from the table and they say something you don't like. Like that's bullshit. Yeah. It's intolerance and being a bitch. It is. It, it is. It is leftist fascism. Yeah, it's 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 uh it's like um you can't have. You pretty much can't have history class in schools anymore, because somebody be like, "Well, I don't, I don't think it would happen that way." And it's like, this is just uh, well, Texas, Texas has been questioning the way things happen for years, and they're really ahead of their times. Oh yeah. They're, they're well, no, it, it, I mean, it would be like if somebody was talking quality. about when they bombed Italy or they bombed Poland, and I'm just like, I can't learn about this topic because I'm Italian or Polish. You know, that's hmm. a trigger warning. Is that isn't that it? Kind I of don't it? Know. no. I I don't. I guess that. Yeah, it's like I understand people's you know, if you want if you don't if you want to remove yourself from an uncomfortable situation, that is your prerogative, but to force to force the world around you to bend to your whims is impossible. It's just yeah. it's just illogical. I just but you bring up the school thing. Other kids are like, Algebra triggers me. Like, I hope well, no, so. Can't I, learn algebra, it's I, a trigger. I, I truly hope that that's happening just to just well, I to guarantee you, the idiocy. There, I guarantee you there's t- some type of, for example, algebra equation which somehow goes into science about maybe something that has to do with gender chromosomes and then suddenly somebody's no triggered. No way. No? I don't know. <sighs> hey, man. We're, I, getting, I, we're getting into murky water here. I just, I, I don't know. I don't know. Everything's fine. Everything's I'm, fine. I'm not saying. Oh, we just triggered Bill. This is a <laughs> trigger-free zone. <laughs> yep. I'm what does it feel like to be triggered for your first time? <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. No, it, it, it is murky water. And I and I understand people get pissed off, but you know, I at the end of the day, you gotta you gotta learn how to get like responsibility sure. for this world. You gotta Well you gotta you, no one changes anyone's mind who's unwilling to talk. You know, I, I, I heard a great quote by somebody who's a complete fucking meathead on a podcast, and he said that, you know what, too many fucking people are worried about nitpicking about every other people's shit instead of trying to take responsibility for themselves. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, like it's like it's like the same shit, like, I mean, I don't want to, well, maybe, I guess we're going to. I don't know if it. that's necessarily a new thing, though. It's yeah, like, yeah, I like yeah. that's always kind of how people were but it's just it's kind of funny how like you have like they were saying you know the same day government shutdown is the most breaking news right next to it is some little fucking whiny 16 year old bitch pissing off a native american that's news you gotta focus on this fucking little kid he's a 16 year old boy being a fucking prick what i don't remember that ever happening oh with the dude that was like singing and the guy was just being a prick yeah yeah who the he's he's with the maga hat the, it's yeah. the Native American. The, yeah. yeah, the like... Uh, it's like, what? Was it Kentucky Catholic school thing, right? Yeah, COVID something. And then wasn't there some weird shit about a black like Hebrew group yeah, or yeah. something yeah, also yeah. being involved so, in that? So, uh, so let's let's be honest. The, I mean, this is... Okay, this is from what I've read. This has nothing to reflect my views, but it said that what was released is that here's this random 16-year-old super-duper goody-two-shoes Catholic kid pissing off a Native American, ignoring him, 
and like giving him a smug face and they're like oh yeah, yeah fuck I him ca- i will say i don't care whether he was i don't know the story i don't know if he was in the wrong or in the right or whatever I didn't how could you be in the it. right though he, i mean i doubt he was in the right yeah. but but uh, well, i saw that picture and that kid i would s- just just on appearance would smack that kid in the face that's right and that's important to remember but uh, but, uh, <laughs> but uh, no but at the same time would you like uh, you, you don't know 16-year-old dicks like that? Like, he's just a confused kid. Are you hanging out with 16-year-olds, Bill? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I have been trying to be good friends with R. Kelly, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, you sh- murky or water? <laughs> <laughs> no, but... It, murk- so, so... Well, no, anyways, so the, and then the full story ended up being that he was... Well, he was just standing there. He was. That's. Tr- I'm not standing up for him. Like I, <laughs> dude, dude. I really do. I feel that. You know how shitty it feels to be a fucking Native American here. Like, like. Do you know how shitty? Yeah, it feels? The, no, I don't. The, no, I don't. The most but marginalized but, group no, in no, the Okay, States. so do you ever put your shoes and try to imagine it? You know, that's what. That's my question. They have know, the like, highest suicide rates, highest poverty rates, highest yeah. gang affiliation rates. Rates. Oh, here we'll give terrible. you all the alcohol and casinos to completely I, yeah, fucking I ruin you. To just distract you from the truth that we're fucking destroying your people, you know? Yeah, still, still. Sure. As of two years ago, still selling reservation land illegally. Yeah. Arizona sold a bunch of land to a to a foreign company, actually. Are they going to put it like a, a pipeline, like oil? Well, it was for oil drilling, I believe. Sure. But well, so, so what ended up actually happening is that whole time, that kid was just like standing there the whole time for like two hours. And I guess the whole time there was like a... Isla- you know the whole Islamic Brotherhood of Malcolm X or whatever. Was that what it was? I thought it was like a, I th- I a thought Hebrew group or something like that. I, I don't know. I, I don't I, know. I, Islamic I'm Hebrew not an at all. On this. <laughs> no, well, th- I guess they kept calling them huge faggots for two hours. And so wait, wait, what? The kid, the kid was kid, trying to piss off the Native American. No, no, and now no. These guys are trying no, no, to no, piss no, off. No, no. The kid was there with his school, wearing these hats, just standing there. He wasn't like saying anything. It wasn't pissing him off at all. No, but he was like in his face. No, the like, the, the Indian walked up to him. That with his bongos. Yeah, the kid was just standing there, and then he just kept slamming the drum in his face because he was staring him because he was staring at him. Uh, so it's legit. Like if you store someone down in public and they just start blowing an air horn and coming closer to your face. I don't know if that equates. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know I mean, if that's the exact same scenario. A little different. Because the dude who's just blowing an air horn in your face is a dick, whereas the this guy was protesting something. He had Oh, yeah, yeah, the, yeah but I mean at the Lincoln that's, Memorial. Oh, I, I don't yeah, I don't know the what 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 even the protest was about. I I didn't like I have no idea. Everything I, don't I know. see red hats, I just go I just know it. I was a huge piece of shit when I was 16 and sure. I I mean at, at the end of the day, I, I would not want to be fucking 16 and be and, and be like, what the fuck is wrong with this world? They're like mad at me being a dick at 16. Like, I don't know. That's, that's I don't know. fucking I feel ridiculous. Like, I feel like you should be made aware when you're being a dick at oh, 16 yeah. because if you don't make that kid aware yeah, when but he's made, being a dick at 16, he'll be a dick when he's 40. Well, well then there'd, there'd have to be like 700 fucking satellite channels on the news of every 16-year-old dick out there because that shit happens all the time. Ah. I hope there aren't a lot of a lot of places where you can find sixteen year old dicks. <laughs> well, no, well, no. I mean, like, I mean, you don't remember. Okay, so you, for, say high school, right? Sure. You remember like people who were bullies yeah. or who were just jock assholes. Yeah. Are they the Successful. same assholes now? No. Some of them. But but less than before, right? Yeah, because life beats you down. They're just That's tired. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <They're> just <laughs> Crushes the, your the fucking spirit. The fucking Uncle Rico. I could have gone pro, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Right, but s- selling used cars. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I don't know. Tupperware, I believe. <laughs> I really, really, I don't, dude. I at the end of the day, I have to accept. I think I am a fucking troll because I want to get a hat. I want to get one of those hats so bad, but have it say "Made you look, motherfucker" instead of "Make America Great Again." <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> that's actually a decently clever. Yeah, but, but no one's gonna if you make it look like it. Yeah, like yeah. No to be like, oh, how witty! They're gonna be like, fuck that guy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> always. <laughs> yeah, but, but you know what? <laughs> but but, you know, but, like, but no, one, no one's gonna think it's funny at all. They're just gonna be angry. <laughs> and and you know what? And then they'll be triggered, and then they'll trigger you, and, then and everyone's and no, no, triggered. No. And and when it comes to me, I hate people, so I'm glad they'll <laughs> leave me alone. I'm glad they'll leave me alone. And, so uh, so maybe I should have that on the hat. Leave me alone, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> or just no, because that will America be that will be hat. misread immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone, motherfucker. 
Mm. Well, I saw. I bet I, you, I can guarantee one thing that will not happen is you being left alone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I I saw one of those hats for sale, but it was very uh, Goomba like. It said, um, "Make me a sandwich." I don't know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? You know, like, come on, come on, wifey, make me a sandwich. Yeah, hey. shit, so, I don't know. Hey, it's a pretty clever hat. I, I I thought it was pretty fucking stupid. So, and I like stupid hats. What hat am I going to wear today? The Make America Great Again hat or Woman Make Me a Sandwich? Yeah. Oh. Speaking of sandwiches, uh, I was... Um, I think that's the, the like struggle waking up in the White House every morning for our, for our president. Just like, Which hat should I wear today? A day in the life of the shittiest person on earth. Yeah. Wi- <laughs> wi- oh, wi- no. which, which MAGA hat, right? The one made in China or the one made in Russia? or the one? Right. Well, the, the whole thing was made in Russia. Oh, that's a very provocative mm. point. What can I say? I'm a dirty trickster. <laughs> Don't speak against the machine, okay? Don't speak against... Me. The machine? You mean yes. Burt Kreischer, the machine? Oh, Putin hears you, okay? <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I, oh, fuck. I, dude, he keeps talking about that at every everywhere. And I, I don't know what the fuck... Who? Talk Burt Kreischer. Burt Kreischer, the I machine? Never, I never heard that bit. Oh, He's, my God, it's hysterical. Because he said he doesn't say anymore because he says, he says it too much. And I like, I'm yeah. like, where the fuck can you well, find yeah, it? Well, yeah, that was like the... That YouTube, was like, that was I, his... That was his... Uh, what made him big yeah. was oh. the machine, Joe. And it's supposedly a true story <laughs> oh yeah is and it something a, about a train hilarious yeah they yeah. robbed a train in russia oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> i think i then i did yeah. Yeah. it's pretty funny the first yeah. time and then that week like 20 more people like have you seen this have you seen this have you seen yeah. this it's like yes well i, I saw his uh special on holds up i listened to it again the other day um, you just had to have some time between sure because that's a lot of like story comedy is kind of like that yeah I saw his special on Netflix and it was really good. You know I, what? I hated his special because I listened to all of his. I've I listened to his stand up. Yeah. And then I watched him do it, and I don't know why, but for some reason I could not get over his mannerisms doing it. Hmm. And like it was hard for me to watch all of his extra jokes, bro-ish. His jokes, but I just could not like because it wasn't what I expected when I first heard okay. all of like when you like interest. You listen to it and then see it. It's different. You know, like some people say that about books that get made into movies. Oh yeah, yeah. Like you so, have an idea. Yeah, in your I know. Head of sure. how it's you didn't like it, how it was set up. I no, just like the way yeah. he the way he moved on stage. I thought like I don't know, it was weird. Well, that's isn't that why Nixon lost to JFK because they could see him. <laughs> is that, Cause he, cause is he didn't that have a, true? Yeah, because he didn't have a Nixon hunch. I do, yeah. Actually, I do remember hearing yeah. something about that. Have you seen those interviews or like the the debates and things? Like JFK is just cool as a cucumber, and yeah, Nixon's and just Nixon's fucking like dripping in sweat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Like, I want the nervous guy. He's my president. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna wear his hat, dude. Yeah. But JFK was just like a fucking dime piece. May he that man rest was, in peace. That man was very attractive. No. I, I, I may or may not have had Marilyn Monroe killed. Well, no. Did, did you? Well, did you hear about how like talk about the first, not the first, maybe the thousandth and first Me Too ever? Marilyn Monroe was a fucking passed around piece of beef lips, like everything around that circle. <laughs> you know, I <laughs> like, actually, what I, did you call I her? learned. Uh, <laughs> I learned a little bit about her. She was not quite le- as much like that as you'd think. Actually, no, no. Like with JFK, Frank Sinatra, the whole rap, like they all. Oh yeah, who wouldn't fuck those guys? I'd fuck those guys. Well, I'm just saying, like that, that that's that's like uh, that that's what I heard about. Like, well, well, no, I mean, I mean, um, because they were saying like she's, like that's what made her fucking depressed as fuck. Because like how, how much she got passed around for her looks. That well, that was <clears throat> the the whole big thing apparently. Because I I just learned a bunch about her randomly, is that she wanted to break into serious acting. Yeah, and no one would take her seriously because that because the character that she had fallen into was like kind of the you know the ditzy blonde. You're a great actor while and they're she, staring at her cleavage, and that's what that's what like drove her to do all the pills and stuff. And yeah, be like and struggle with depression is because she wouldn't. No one would take her seriously. Probably because because everybody Harvey Weinstein, you know. Well, yeah, I mean that like, that industry has always been rife with that yeah. sort of shit. So, take note, Michael Sarah, this is the road you're heading down. <laughs> All right, I just like him for his looks. Heading <laughs> Michael Sarah or JFK, <laughs> a both. little bit of both. No, yeah. JFK is a stud. So is so is the whole Rat Pack. But uh, yeah, yeah. And what about us? We're pretty handsome, huh? Or huh, you, you guys, we you are. guys too. We you guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and Phil, you're not too bad yourself. Thanks, buddy. Maybe we're not that pathetic. Maybe that YouTube viewer 
is really the pathetic one. Yeah, man. Yeah. 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 How about li- where are we at at looking up his profile? <laughs> yeah. I, I, I don't want to mention Pol- him. He, he doesn't cliche him. <laughs> right? I, 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 I tried trigger, pulling it up. I don't want to trigger a listener. <laughs> right. I tried looking it up and this like verification thing came up like, are, are you not pathetic? And I couldn't verify it. Fair enough. We need Phil. a robot in this bitch, you know, <laughs> to p- verify this. No, you, dude, uh, we were talking about sandwiches. You know, my brother fucking told me, like, so, no, this is so goofy. Uh, I, I don't know. I, this is just a small story, but back when, like, Wikipedia first came out, uh, I was, like, the biggest fucking, I, I didn't have a lot of friends. I'm, like, the biggest nerd. I'm, like, dude, you could look up anything on here. Holy fuck. Yeah. Anything. Any, and, before, and, you know, before that, it was a big deal because you had to go to the fucking oh, yeah. library. Ugh. Or, or you or you rely on some. Also, you, you no know. one talks about how big of an innovation that level of crowdsourcing was. Yeah, like, but there, Wikipedia had to really be one of the first people to do large scale crowdsourcing. Yeah, yeah. it's brilliant, and I still don't donate. Yeah, Sorry, yeah. Right? I, no, I use it <laughs> several times a day, every but day. I've submitted. I can't remember what for. It was years well, ago. Yeah, I've submitted. Before. Dude, that's the funny thing is that I didn't know. You can edit it, yeah. Like, and it has to be like approved, though. And now they're a lot stricter on it than yeah. they used to be. So, so, <laughs> You'd so, get some ridiculous shit before. So, so my, my, I was trying to convince my brother that that you can you can edit it and put bullshit on there. And my comment lasted for six months, and it was I was like high as fuck at home watching like on demand free music videos. So they're usually all like R and B or like unknown rap. And Fat Joe came on. Mm -hmm. So I went on his profile and I put that Fat Joe died of overdosing on eating too many hamburgers. Sure. (laughs) And it stayed on there for six months. So people thought he was dead for (laughs) hamburgers. (laughs) Oh, no. (laughs) That's how he's named Fat Joe. (laughs) He used to be just just Joe, but then he died, man. Right. Those hamburgers fucking went to the grave with him. A fat fuck. (laughs) It's like becoming sainted. Like, you know, uh, St. Elmo, Fat Joe, one of the same. Um, St. Elmo's Fire. That's right. That was my confirmation name. Fun fact. St. Elmo's Fire. <laughs> no, well, you know, for Catholic confirmation, you pick like a uh, a saint, you know, yeah, and you like yeah. adopt their name. So I went with Erasmus, which is shortened to Elmo, it, so who is the patronly the? saint of what? Sailors of sailors. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense, well, actually. Well, I just <laughs> wanted to be St. Elmo because you know, like St. Elmo's Fire. Like <laughs> what I, is that? You don't know. It's a sweet movie. There's a bar called Saint Elmo's Fire. And I think there's like a motorcycle a, race. Is or it an eighties movie? But yeah, yeah. Saint Elmo's Fire is also a. I can't remember exactly what it is. It's some sort of like aviation phenomena too. That oh, like, is it? That like I thought causes, it was like a like Saint Elmo's Fire is something that happens like the Bermuda Triangle or some shit. That's I can't cool. remember. It's like charged particles or some weird shit. Huh. I don't. I don't know. I could. I could yeah. be way off base on that, but I know it's some sort of aviation thing. Yeah. Also, it sounds like a Phil Collins song. That's why I mentioned it. It does sound like a Phil Collins <laughs> song. <laughs> was like Joe Desposito or someone like, I don't know. It's, is oh, that the, is it's that such the, a good song. Yeah. And I loved that song. But is it is it Darkness by Dan Cummins? No, I don't think anything could really ever compare to Darkness. But I'm happy you brought that up. Can we uh, dedicate some time to talk about your latest uh, musical adventure? <laughs> And is my All right, so Phil, this is what I was uh, I was telling you about the this joke that I was playing. So, uh, we were doing champagneing the other weekend <laughs> at my apartment. Champagneing, which was we bought like three bottles of champagne, got high. Was it all a sham? It was bollocks. What? It was all a sham. <laughs> yeah, it was a sham. Sorry, is bad joke. Sh- no, I, that was pretty good. Just puns on puns with sham painting. Oh, uh, oh, sham. <laughs> you get it? Yeah, I get it. Uh, uh, it's, uh, it took me a second. This is pathetic. But we <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm triggered. <laughs> but we got uh, with three bottles of champagne, a bunch of acrylic paint, and went to went to town. And uh, halfway through, a, a, <laughs> Do you a, mix a, a friend of mine, <laughs> what? <laughs> Two part champagne, one part <laughs> acrylic paint. No, no, mix we were we were not mixing those at that point. <laughs> um, Spread the sizzle, right? <laughs> That's right. God. What a waste of good champagne. <laughs> <laughs> but I. Uh, well, when we were good and drunk, we were talking. One of my friends, Max, was telling me about how uh, he convinced one of his coworkers that in college he was in an emo band called Sadly Maybe. And so Maybe I spent. Maybe you heard of them. I I spent the rest of that evening making them uh, a MySpace page and <laughs> designing their album art 
for uh, for the EP Buck and Bronco. Wait, you said it. it was his band in high school? <laughs> no, he was. He doesn't play any. He's not a musician. So he lied to a <laughs> he co-worker. lied to a coworker. Uh, showed him showed her a picture of him from high school that said Buck and Bronco underneath it, and said that this was the album art for his band in college called Sadly Maybe. Oh yeah, yeah. And that they had an emo vibe to them. And so, you took that and you ran with it. I did. I took it and I ran with it. There are three songs on the album entitled "It's Mostly Sentences." Uh, Sweet Green and Ronnie, which is all capitals except for the I at the end. Makes you think. Yeah, it does. Uh, and uh, I recorded the the first. Uh, I got real. I got drunk one night. Just <laughs> came home from work. Got drunk. Spent two hours <laughs> recording uh, my version of uh, Ronnie, and it is it is a masterpiece. I listened to it on the car ride over here. It is. It's something else. And will that be on the? The MySpace page eventually. It will be. It will be eventually on MySpace. Eventually, ten years behind. <laughs> MySpace dot com backslash uh, Wait, sadly maybe forward banned slash. or forward slash sorry sadly maybe banned. And I can say that on here because it's real. <laughs> so you're leaning forward, huh? We need a neutral slash. I'm triggered. <laughs> <laughs> no, but everyone always says backslash, and like, don't do that. You mean forward slash? How about just slash? From G and I'm, I'm all about slash and Axel. Let me see if I can pop up the. The page, perfect. Hopefully, I confirmed it. So, so you were saying there, there's a joke behind it. Yeah, is that the band's not real? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm so, his coworker told, or one of his friends told, yeah, a coworker made that a fake was, band yeah. that he was in a band. Sandry has I just now ran with did it. He, did he, did he? Uh, you know, How maneuver all the faces so thing? they're diverse. Uh, what was it? They maneuver all the faces so they're diver- diverse. Like I my made up band. It's you know? emo. It's probably not that diverse. <laughs> Sadly, maybe pops up. <laughs> nice. Here we go. Here's uh, pop up the album. Oh, it won't let me. Well, this is the background at least. How does it look for our listeners out there who can't see your phone? <laughs> well, the the ba- the back of it. I was going with the real emo vibe, so I looked up just pile of bodies on sure. uh, on an image search and found a really pixelated version of a pile of emaciated bodies from the Spanish Civil War, which is now the background of the album. It was either that or Jack Skellington. And that was your painting? That was no, no. <laughs> oh, so you just I designed it. I designed uh, it. Uh, I did it on, in Creative Suite. So on, it's on separate the from the champagne painting in progress. Yeah, it was separate from the champagne. This was post-champagne painting. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Weird things Dude, happen wonder, after champagne painting. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a cool thing to go into to try and brew champagne. No? <laughs> how? First off, I, how, I don't know how you do it. technically couldn't because we're not in Champagne, France. Right. So ah. sparkling wine. It'd be sparkling wine. Well, you can call it Champagne. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Uh, that so that's, actually <laughs> that's actually pretty, <laughs> actually pretty decent. <laughs> yeah. So there's the market. Well, well, speaking, you know, it just reminded me of, like, emo shit. Like, I just, because I was scrolling through movies today on my Amazon Prime. Mm-hmm. And I can never get, like, when we went to, like, Riot Fest or when you see, like, funny-ass videos on YouTube compilations of emo mosh pits <laughs> when there's fat kids doing that <laughs> grindcore ninja shit. I'm like, what does that remind me of? Why does that look so awkward and so ugly? Wait, that's me! <laughs> Dude, you know what I realized? It's fucking Beverly Hills Ninja. That's what it reminds me Like Chris Farley doing ninja moves. That's what it reminds me of. Every oh. emo mosh pit. I don't know. So He was a prophet. Are you complimenting Chris Farley? Or are I you am a compliment. complimenting the emo kids? I am that definitely sounds, doesn't I'm sound like a compliment <laughs> to the emo <laughs> kids. Well, you're not you're not triggering them, are you? I hope I am. If you're oh if you're word. if you're over twenty and you're still stuck in high school, I mean, you're an old fashioned man. Here. You can't. He can't uh, subscribe to the new ideas of this no. new generation. Mm-mm. I'm working on my old fashioned mustache. So. Are you? <laughs> I'm not it's working, I'm, man. I know. It's, I thought it was like, I, so. The the idea was to. To shave and uh, for all, for all the listeners out there, I currently have a handlebar mustache and mutton chops and no beard, <laughs> <laughs> which I which I did on purpose as a joke. Dude, to you see look if I like a fucking stud up last night at the bar. You, you look like a is, stud, man. But I'm it talking. actually looks pretty good. No, I didn't pick anyone. Oh, we ended up we ended we ended up just going back home after dinner. Uh, and just tell people you're like an archaeologist. I feel like that's very archaeologist. Like style I of d- facial hair. I just kept saying I, that I'm a traveler from 1874. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> wait, you couldn't pick anyone up. Like I am a time traveler. 
<laughs> you could be I'm one of those. Oil man. <laughs> but I'm also. I think a you look. Man. I think you look like one of those guys who could like. Uh, you want to disappear? I can get you a new passport, new identity. <laughs> yeah. like, there we go. That's what I should run with. They're like, yo, come here. <laughs> you know, <laughs> come into the alley with. Do me. you have a big overcoat that you can wear? <laughs> Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I think uh, you want to know. Uh, I was gonna. What was what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, interrupt. No, no, no. When <laughs> you when you move on to in the same topic, what the fuck is the word I'm looking for? Transition. I Transition. Digress. Tra- I was gonna segue into a joke I was trying to write that went very bad. <laughs> but okay, wait. <laughs> All right. <laughs> wait, what? What's a good setup? The transition. No, no, no. The, the, the way joke? the way I s- the way I set up the jo- well, this whole podcast really is kind of the patheticness. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 no. The the yeah, the, the, the joke. The, no, the joke went bad because uh, it's more of like a George Carlin except Phil Lysecki type rant rather than a joke. Because, okay, so, so wait, so how is this different than anything else that right. goes on? Uh, here? Also, before yeah, yeah. we begin, is my malt liquor around? Is there nice? All right, continue. Yeah. Well, okay. So how many times? Like, like here, I just I I gotta say this because I usually never talk about how much. Like I like everybody who talks about people being petty and complaining and bitching about shit. It's always about left shit or people are getting triggered, dude. So I'm gonna tell I want I want because you don't you know this, but I want to tell Zach. So wait, is this I, the joke? I, this is like the story. How it, okay. it's kind of like the joke, yeah. Okay. About how so I really wanted to get into hunting for a fucking while. I've been venting about this on here I forever. I know, I was supposed to take you out, but I, we never did. No, 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 it, it, it's cool. But I, no, I, it's not cool, what, what, it's what, pathetic. I was like, uh, I, d- during Christmas... <laughs> you take this man hunting. <laughs> uh, talk about getting uh, triggered, eh? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I bow hunt, though. Right, so. Oh. We're <laughs> 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 no, but uh, anyway, so I... um. Uh, so I just joined all these fucking hunting groups on Facebook, and I literally wrote, like... So 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 okay. I'll just tell the. This is how I was going to tell the joke in a story way. Basically, I was going to you know. So I went on all these Facebook groups. I I'm like, dude, I'm a fucking beginner. I don't know shit. Are you getting weird I, targeted advertising now? Oh, I've, ha- I've been, been getting that since forever. I, but, say, I, <laughs> no, I read like, an article. Would you like a camo, you know, grip on your shotgun? Would you like a dude, bump sock? I get Walmart ads for shotguns. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, like when I, I don't know what what I was searching that they were like, the, he needs a gun. I was I was listening to a podcast ab- about some guy laughing at another guy for not having or having to take Viagra, and I started getting all these dick pills <laughs> commercial like. <laughs> From hearing it, like they they uh, maybe they like coincided with the account, or maybe I was talking about needing some pathetic Viagra pills. Oh, no, dude, I used one of those dick pills once. It's and great. Yeah. <laughs> it's maybe great. Kelly was on the computer doing some research, like how how can we get this better? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, but <laughs> anyways, it's for the wedding night, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, dude. Like because if things are already good and you take that shit, isn't it like painful? Like that spider. <laughs> I'm not in my experience. <laughs> it was very not painful. <laughs> I, you, uh, maybe. Arguably <laughs> the opposite. No, no, no. Yeah, have I don't you, know. I might have speared her. But <laughs> have you ever had like back in the day, like a morning wood that just didn't go away? Like you just felt oh, like yeah. you had a fucking yeah, full day definitely. kickstand. Oh, you know, yeah, driver's ed. High yeah. school. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, and, and it, you know what? I want to explore that. Yeah. <laughs> dude, dude, weirdly, I had it in high school too, and that shit fucking hurts because you can't, you keep like bumping into shit. It's like you're <laughs> fucking yourself, you know? Yeah, it's like you try to be <laughs> subtle, so you kind of tuck it in your waistband. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. It's you gotta, agony. Or like, or like keep your legs closer together. Right. Yeah. Dude, yeah. I always it always made me laugh because when I tuck it, I'm like, God, this has to look so goofy from the backside. <laughs> you know, just a, just the tip chode and and then a moose knuckle, you know. Like, oh man. God. Anyways, so, this you is properly, a good joke. You I like the joke. Properly used moose knuckle. Properly, yeah. yep. Right. Didn't want to trigger the moose knuckle fact checkers of, yep. <laughs> which is the same. Bunch. It's the, the same group the, as far those <laughs> moose knuckle heads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, anyways, so I go on Facebook. I join all these fucking like hunting groups. I'm like, dude, I'm amateur. Who the fuck wants to take me hunting? I literally, I have a hunting license and I have a FOID card. Who wants to take me? And like immediately, no one wants to take an amateur. No, 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 immediately, sixty comments. Oh, really? So what are you shooting? What are you shooting? And I animals. I yeah. I was talking to my friend, the pipe bomb tank driving gun nut, who oh, convinced God. me that I can use an AK-47. Who told he what? <laughs> 
Yeah. Where did where does he hunt illegally? He, he well, okay, so here's playgrounds. He, yeah, mostly. Like, like, here, first here, off, here, rifles are illegal in Illinois to kill anything with no, no, no. except coyotes. Coyotes shoot exactly. coyotes with a rifle. And and he shoots coyotes on a private property, which I guess I, yeah, okay, fine. Which, Technically which, he could use an AK forty seven for which, that. Which That's I find fucked up. That's a weird thing, but which I found yeah. out some of these fucking macho meathead fucks on this page. Coyote, did you know you can kill them with anything? Yeah. Like, you can beat so, them to death with a baseball bat. In fact, yeah, I've really? heard of people doing it. Yeah. Why, they're, no, why they're, don't we like coyotes? Beca- because the, they they overpopulated as rats and they kill all, all of our roadrunners. They, well, they, they, they kill all like sheep, deer, everything. They fucking throw everything else out of balance. They're literally covered in diseases and the, like rats. Even like wild boar can be really bad for certain ecosystems. Hmm. And and coyotes will snatch your like kid. They'll, However, they'll bite your fucking baby. Ah, that's well, I call bullshit on that. They will go after small dogs, but well, they, well, they, but it's rare that they've ever gone after people oh, unless man. they're rabbits. Well, I mean, I I looked at shit like, do you know that mountain lions in like Colorado? Fi- mountain lions are a different fucking animal. Fi- fi- literally, fifty percent of their diet is domestic pets or children. Fifty <laughs> percent. Okay, I want to see the statistic that says or children. Right. On it. Well, I mean, that's I mean, I, I know that they are known to attack people, but like coyotes are not known to attack people. No. But no. they are known to. Put- well, yeah, no. So this guy posted a video of he fucking. This is this is so pussy for somebody who's a, I'm a macho hunter. They put out bear traps for a coyote. So this coyote has his like ankle chopped off, and he's like squirming. So he goes behind it with a piano wire and chokes it to death. Yeah, like some of those people are real fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. Like that that's the one thing that and, you and will you run into in that community is people who have no respect for life. And the and the funniest thing is this is the same guy. Not everybody. I'm not shitting on all hunters. I hunt myself, but the, the, this same guy posted, "Can you stop posting all these uh like all these Christian groups are posting like uh, post abortion photos?" And I'm like, "Dude, you just p- you posted a coyote with a chopped off ankle and then skinning it afterwards." Well, yeah, you've heard the George but, Carlin bit about how the about the pro lifers don't seem to give much of a shit about life. It, of anything other than oh us. No, no no I never heard that but it's uh, a great bit. well anyway uh, anyways so I so I go on this site yeah. and I'm like I I want to go hunting they're like what are you, so what are you shooting with I'm like I was thinking about getting this uh, it's called a spets like a spetsnaz or kadnaz uh, AK47 and they're like oh this fucking guy this, the funny thing is like. The first thing that's supposed to offend them is this guy's breaking rules. You're not supposed to shoot anything with a first. But the thing that pissed them off is they're like, "Oh, What's this guy type of gun. They, was this that? guy's last name's Lishetsky, and he's shooting a commie rifle." <laughs> it's like no, nobody <laughs> talked to this guy. All you know? right. <laughs> like, you know? I don't know where you're so, from, feller. So that's the first. Fo- and I'm like, dude, I, I don't know. Choking out a coyote with a piano wire yeah. sounds like the most Russian thing to do. <laughs> we have high standards here. So they, so I'm, I told him, like, dude, I'm sorry. I just literally, I'm a fucking beginner. I just want to shoot. I, I want to get some coyote. I want to know how it, like, I want to get some furs. I want to make some cool ass jackets, you know? <laughs> like, I'm Cruella DeVille, basically, you know? <laughs> but this guy contacted me. John was totally laughing at me. He's like, all right, give me his address because I know you're getting killed. Because he told me, this guy told me, I'm not going to mention his name. Wait, is this he's, Coyote? Coyote Jack? Yeah. Okay. I call him the Don, cause, <laughs> but uh, that's that's good foreshadowing. <laughs> cause, cause no, cause he's pretty fucking like mob. Like uh, sir, he's 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 out in like that that area where I found that weird uh, sketchy hostel, and he's a little bit connected. But uh, any, okay. Anyways, <laughs> I, I go, I go, I, I. He's like, dude, oh my listen. God, you are gonna disappear to fucking yeah, killer. Yeah, like, man. You're talking about right. me on your podcast. No, right. No, but no, but he so so he told me he's like, man, come by, I'll get you started off. We'll, I'll fucking show you. And I'm like, what's the catch? You know, like you just the catch is he's gonna hunt you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Your so 30 I thirty second head start, friend. Dude, I fucking I I came there. He he chops. Uh, Wait a minute, you actually did this? Yeah, yeah. I, I went I went to his. Uh, I I I told everybody his address and everything in my messages. But I went over there and dude, he's got like. <laughs> 50 fucking compound bows, like 20 fucking shotguns. And he s- chops up everything. Like he chops up shotguns to make everything custom for you. He chopped up a compound bow for me. So it's like for my strength, for my pull, yeah, yeah. for my eyesight. And your arm span, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah and, and and I got it. I got it. Um, Like I got it upstairs and everything. But he, um, 
Would you yeah, know what it is? What's uh, it's on uh, Matthews? Oh, really? Oh, yeah. so you got a nice one. Yeah, it's fucking, yeah. dude. It is. I've shot Matthews before. They're dude. He he has a nice huge bones. fucking uh, basement, like um, I'd say thirty yards, and he set up this. Do you know those foam targets? Yeah. Oh, if you ever want to shoot, uh, my folks have a range in the backyard. Dude, we should we should go totally. We're d- I'm yeah. totally going. All right, your joke totally. is getting sidetracked. Well, Sorry. So, so anyway, so yeah, no, so I went there and like, dude, I'm fucking like. I can't even. So me and John tried shooting a a bottle off of uh, with a BB gun from like ten yards, and Gavin got it first. Like we couldn't get it. We we got about that bodes well. I I I use the fucking bow. Fifth fucking try. I'm shooting tax, twenty yards away. Like he he got it set that. Anyways, so uh, and then and then came the catch because I'm like, so dude, like, what's going on here? Uh, He's like, listen. I'm in the hunting community. Like this is a real tight knit community. I'm gonna fucking take you every season that we go. We do turkey this season. We do hog this season. We do pheasant this season. He's gonna let me use all his shit. And I guess he's like a, he's like triple X now. And he used to be a large, so he's giving me all his old shit. Huh. And I'm like, dude, when am I either have to be like, when am I gonna be charged something or killed? You right. know, like this is just like yeah, you're weird. Good. <laughs> you know. And finally, yeah, they're he, preparing you for their uh, what are they? vetting you yeah. yeah i mean well he called me um uh eventually and he's well and he's like Phil, it's time to <laughs> repay your debt yeah so did you shoot anything i i i just i i've been practicing on the bow i haven't i haven't gone and shooting anything yet. I, I i'll go and you know coyotes can go all year round so i'll go yeah and pretty much anywhere where there's not a city or in, or like ordinance yeah like does i know that, does that include forest preserves I don't know. That's a great. No area. way can you hunt in a forest. Well, preserve. so you can't. You cannot walk into most forest preserves and hunt. Or no, you can't hunt in any forest preserve. You can hunt in certain public like, areas. conservation areas. And there's this weird gray area with people's land who butt up to preserve land. I can't remember exactly how. There's this. W- if you're standing in their loophole. backyard and shoot, sort of, it's like it has to be on your property, but you can, I think you can track it into the preserve, but it yeah. has to be shot on your property. So it's a real easy loophole for poaching. Sure, well, I mean, I, I heard uh, from Cabela's, they said it's all year round public land, but you can only shoot a half hour before sunset or a half hour after. Yeah, yeah, well, that's with any what, that's with any hunting. But but that would make sense with forest preserve because aren't like woods only open Yeah, they close. Yeah. At cuz I cuz we hunt in uh, Braidwood. Okay. So, and you get coyote? No, we don't hunt coyote. We hunt whitetail. Okay. But, um Did I you? don't I don't I won't kill anything that I won't eat. Yeah. I just find it I, I don't know. That's my like guideline. Well, you're too good to eat coyote now. <laughs> yes, uh, my metropolitan lifestyle has ruined me. <laughs> hey, you're spoiled. I've had squirrel before. Squirrel's not bad. Dove is delicious. <laughs> I want to. I want to give everything a try at least once. I don't know. Well, let's like... catch us a few pigeons and have a pigeon roast. Well, anyways, point is, I was gonna <laughs> write this fucking joke about how it's funny that all these like what you would assume. Would be MAGA hat wearing hunter guys making fun of petty shit of like people who get triggered or SJWs, you know? It's like, dude, hunting is the most petty little bitch shit in the fucking world. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, you're fooling like, animals into coming close yeah, enough for no, you to no, murder no. with a superior well, weapon. Well, well, yeah. well, well, no, well, no, but I mean, it's like, I, I go into this and it's like, well, you, you can only shoot turkey with a shotgun and you can only do it from this season to this season, but you can only do it on these days, but you can only do it with this type of bullet and you can only do it with this type of caliber and you can, oh, but you can use a rifle, but that's only during this season, but you can go bow hunting, but you can't do it during firearm season. It's like, dude, you're killing a fucking animal who gives a shit how you do it. Like, the state gives a lot yeah. of shit how you do that, and I'm like, actually absolutely okay with, with I mean with them sticking their regulation fingers but, uh, but and I'm, how I, things get murdered. But I I don't understand like what what difference is it like you know I, I don't know yeah. Sandry, what difference is it? Yeah. A, a lot of it is so animals don't suffer, and the other reason is for public safety. So things like if you're using rifles widespread, yeah. R- a bullet fired from a rifle is going to travel two to three times as far as a bullet fired from a shotgun. So if you're hunting in Braidwood close to the road with mm-hmm. a rifle and you miss, you could hit somebody. Yeah. Whereas if you miss with a shotgun or with buckshot, 
you're not going to hit anybody. So why not just make like you can hunt all year round with a shotgun, something like that. And and whenever I don't know, I don't know what this, what exactly creates a season. That's some sort of ecological thing. Yeah, it's just so it's so that I they don't like, the conserve conserving part. Yeah. Of, but but the other thing is like too like what's with this? Oh, you can hunt coyote all year round, but only before and after sunset. Like safety, it's for public safety. Oh, okay. But not for the coyote. Well, it all not makes sense. For, well, none of it is public safety for the <laughs> animals. <laughs> well, you know, the, the 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 thing that made me laugh is like I'm not even I I am not exaggerating you. I will show you these groups and prove it to you guys. Every other conversation is these guys bitching about how their marriage fell apart because oh, no. of, oh my god because that's, of hunting. Oh, that's hilarious! And, and, I'm just like, and I'm just like, gee, I wonder why. You know, if <laughs> if fucking Marge wants some, you know, some dick tonight. So, well, is it well? Well, according to my, you know, periods, is is it in season? Can I use can I use this condom or do we use this loop or do we, you know like they'll have to go by all those rules that they go by in hunting. Like, I don't know. It just seems so fucking petty to me. I don't know. You know, I loved her. I just love killing things more. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, what the, the fuck? common man struggle. That, I I don't I don't know that that I that is definitely a fucking obsessive sickness to be throwing away a family over shooting animals. You know. Uh, yeah, but that I mean, certain parts of that community are just like that's what they do. That's their yeah. life. I've met I've met guys like that. I've hunted. With and you guys know what? Like that. And you know what? Why why wouldn't you meet a chick who is okay with that in the first place? You know, it's there like, are there are lots of I've met plenty yeah, yeah. of girls who are, who are absolutely happy with that or enjoy we just we hunting do, themselves. We, we need to start. You and me need to start a page of broken up marriages due to hunting. <laughs> so oh, that'll just get, that that'll get the most traffic. You know. Yeah. <laughs> or like a weird dating, like farmers only, hunters right. only. <laughs> yeah. Way well, shoot. You will shoot. That's our tagline. <laughs> uh, see, it's all coming together. Trigger mingle. <laughs> Who's pathetic now, internet? <laughs> uh, uh, Apparently, hunters. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you guys ready to take a quick breather? If you are, if that's, yeah. let's do it. We'll be right back. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> Don't do that. 